Dennis Wiley, I told you I wasn't done. I wasn't kidding. I told you several times, Plowboy, to not fuck with Backwoods Redneck. But what do you do? Well, you just stuck your foot in your goddamn mouth. You want war? You got it. Let's see what uh, Backwoods Redneck comes up with this time. And trust me, what I bring this time, I always bring receipts. Simple request. And you know what makes it look so bad? You know what makes it so bad? When you all was dealing with Spider-Man, I came to you all. Really? Really? <laughs> Saying that you came to us? No, you didn't. No, the fuck you didn't, bruh. Dude, did you not remember? I was there. I was there the whole fucking time. I know exactly what happened. So quit your fucking lying. I came to you all. I strongly recommended you all as a family for people. Really now? You strongly recommended all of us as a good family for a lot of people? Really? Really? Are you sure about that? Because, dude, I remember correctly that a lot of people came not only to me but a few others and asked us, dude, is, is Grape Digger telling us the truth that y'all are bitches? Y'all y'all start fucking drama and shit like that? Dude, I had uh, like hundreds, and I mean hundreds of people coming to me, especially because of what you said. So don't fucking bullshit anybody here, bruh. And I thought that we were family. Close enough family to where using your advice wouldn't affect you all. Dude, you and I, and just like a lot of other people I know, you, me, and the rest of them have never been like that. I have with a lot of others, but when it comes to you, me, and the rest of them, we've never been like that, bro. Why are you lying again? Oh, and about the advice that you just mentioned? Dude, that advice came from me. Me. I spread it all over the damn place. But you're wanting to blame one particular individual that's not backwards redneck? No, that's not that's just not gonna happen. Y'all 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 see exactly what I'm talking about with what I just said there. You'll see. Big grape digger? Quit lying, bro. You're all's advice. I used it because I had that high regards to you all. That much regard to you all. Any one of my members here can tell you I spoke highly of you all. Spoke very highly of you all. Of all of you. For what? What do I get for taking your advice? A threat to come to my front door. Really? Seriously. I follow your advice and that's what I get for it. Advice? Really? You're still going on about that? Really? Dude, the advice came from me, bruh. It was delivered to you from whoever it was. The advice came from me. If you want to fucking have an argument with anybody, you can take that shit up with me. And I'll tell you where you can, where, where you can actually go. And... 
talking highly about folks? Are you fucking serious? Are you insane? Bro, you don't talk highly about anybody. Don't say that you do because I know you don't. Dude, every fucking radio, every goddamn live and every goddamn radio that I've ever been in with you, you've never done that shit. Ever. Don't say that you have when you ha when you haven't ever done any of that. And the threats? Are you serious? Are you insane? Do you have a fucking, you know, a few screws on the screen do you have a couple screws loose up in your fucking head, bruh? For real? <laughs> Talking about goddamn threats, are you serious? You know what? We're just gonna talk about that for a minute here. For a quick minute. Dennis. Why don't you be honest for once in your life, at least? Because, quite frankly, knowing that you're not honest at all on social media, are you even honest at all to your wife? I don't think you are, bro. I really don't. And from where I'm standing, I know your wife ain't got nothing to do with this, but it really, really questions me and concerns me, you know, questioning myself about you ever, you know, even, you know, being honest with your wife for that matter. Are you honest with her at all? Because you lie out, you lie through your fucking... Well, I can't say teeth because you ain't got no teeth, Mr. Nibbles. <laughs> but... Be honest. You know them threats weren't what you think they were for. You, you're not being honest about that. You know what them threats were for. I'm still waiting for... I've, I've been waiting for you to tell your, uh, your groups the actual truth for them threats. And no, they wasn't for me. Because trust me, when I give a threat... I also go physical. And now, knowing the fact that I know exactly what your driveway looks like. Oh yeah, not, by the way, nice fence. By the way, I love the American flag that you have hanging. I do. It's a nice gravel driveway. <laughs> Trust me. I've seen your stories on your fucking Facebook, bruh. I have. I can see that shit, even, you know, even though I'm not fucking friends with your ass on Facebook. And trust me! Trust fucking me! You'd never get my goddamn Facebook. That's a goddamn promise. You know why? I don't need fucking... I, I don't need trash like that on my, on my page. I really don't. I don't need the fucking stress levels on my damn page. I don't need the heartache on my damn page. I don't need, uh, wannabe badasses on my page. You know what I like on my page? I like real motherfuckers. I like real folks. That's what I get. I followed your all's advice. I came to your all's radio with respect. And Smoke, I don't respect people like I did you. I was joking and carrying on with your wife, dude. And then turn right around and they pointed out that you was her husband. And I asked you if it was all right if I talked shit to her. I asked you if I could talk shit to her and have fun. And I don't mean nothing by what I say. I asked you, dude. And you said it was okay. I asked you all. If I could be a part of you. I did it respectfully. And this is what I get. Because you all gave me the fucking advice. To weed out the bad apples. 
And you, uh, Megs, to be honest, <laughs> hold on a minute, I got this, Ray. To be honest, Megs, think about it. Who took care of your ass with the bullies and the perverts when you had half your fucking titties hanging out and you was getting harassed? Okay? Well, that's good. Okay? Because when I see a low-cut shirt talking shit, I don't see much morals. Really, Chevy? Really, Grave Digger? Dennis? Really? You want to talk about morals? That's something you wish you had, bruh. And when it comes to Megs, don't you fucking dare attack her. Don't you even fucking think about it, bro. That's something you really, 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 really don't want to get yourself mixed up with. Don't even think about going after her. I swear. I swear, dude. I'll make your life a living hell. That doesn't just go for Mags, either. It goes for Redneck Country Girl. It goes for her husband. You go after anyone that I know personally, I'll make your life a living hell. Okay, you know, I'm going to tell you just like I told the last one. You don't throw a steak down and expect a dog not to eat. Okay. Now, like I said, you show me proof. I don't care what kind of proof it is. Show me proof, and I'll reapproach. But until then, shut your fucking mouths with me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dennis. Dennis Wiley. Look at me. Right here, you motherfucker. You won't try and tell me that to my goddamn face? Huh? Are you? Are you, fly boy? Are you? Come on. Come on. You want to be a badass? Come on. Put your money where your fucking mouth is. I promise you. You're going to regret it, boy. You want to try and fucking, you know, tell me that to my goddamn face? I will promise you. I promise you, I'll rip them fucking gums out too. I'm not threatening you. I'm giving you straight promises. I'll rip your motherfucking gums out. Test me if you don't think I will. Test me, bitch. You want to tell me and the rest of them? Sure, fine. Tell the rest of them to do that. You ain't gonna tell me to do that shit. Hell no, I don't let that shit fly, motherfucker. You wanna go all gangster on me? Fine. But you better bring whatever it is that your old ass has. Cause I guarantee you, bitch, you ain't gonna make it through. That's a motherfucking promise. Now, here, I'm gonna point you out something, okay? Here, I'm going to point something out. It's pretty fucking pathetic. You got people like Miss Biggs and Mr. Biggs involved in this shit. They didn't do nothing. They don't have no reason to be in this. But you got them in it. Well, how did how the game went earlier? Okay. You all have got Innocent people in the middle of this. And you want to blame me for it? Well, let me see. Was I there to pull the fucking trigger? No, I wasn't. What I said was not irrational. I was not even aggressive with it. You want me to give you my proof? Well, they're right here. They're all right here with me. Okay.
Okay, I never said nothing irrational, and I will quote myself. You goddamn redneck country people, you all let red give me the advice. You all let red give me the advice. Now, because of the way things went, it's my fault. Well, let me give you the little fucking clue. Okay? I did what I had to do because it was Redneck Country's fucking advice. Hey, you dipshit. Dennis Wiley. How many times do I got to tell your bitch ass? It was my advice. It came from me. When I got kicked out of Porch Life, people wanted to go after Porch Life. You know what I did? I didn't tell them not to worry about it, leave it alone. It wasn't worth the time. I did, Redneck. I did. I told you I was lying, but you all were too damn dumb to really see it. Chevy, can I say something? Go ahead. Okay, you're, get, you're getting a blame for this, right? Yeah. Whenever, whenever you were talking calm the whole time. Yeah. But yet, I got fully full-blown attacked. In the radio, did I? Did I not? Yes, you did. I was on a cussing. I got threatened. My I get threats all the fucking time. My home fucking burnt down last night by somebody. I don't know who. My fucking everything I have is just lucky. I didn't have my nine-year-old nephew in there that I usually keep ninety-five percent of the time. Hey, Chris. All right, y'all. We're going to do it this way. Dennis Wiley does not give a fuck about you. Okay? He don't. How, if he gave a fuck about anybody, he wouldn't have drunk all y'all in the fucking drama, now would he? No. Hell, the one... When y'all seen that that radio just a few seconds ago, not the not the one that was in the the top left hand corner, but the one that was right below it. I don't give a fuck what she says. Hell, she only sticks up for fucking Dennis Wiley because she ain't got nobody else. And hell, the way I see it, I could care less if you get pissed off at me or not, bitch. If your fucking house burnt down. You wouldn't be on social fucking media bitching and bitching and bitching all the goddamn fucking time. Get the fuck over it. If your house burnt down, like I said, you wouldn't be on social media. You'd be out there in the real fucking world doing the goddamn doing something about it. Now wouldn't you? Yes, yes, yes. The fuck you would. Hell, I sure as fuck would be. But no, you and fucking Dennis Wiley have nothing else better to do. But to sit on fucking social media and bitch, 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 bitch. That's all the fuck both y'all do. I don't give a fuck if I even piss you off or not. But here's the thing. When it comes to Dennis Wiley, I've told y'all in the last motherfucking video, he don't give a motherfucking damn about any of y'all. You don't believe me? Maybe he'll believe his own fucking words off his goddamn Facebook. Seriously. What else do I have to even fucking show? I mean, even though I got a whole shitload more to show y'all, but what would I really even have to show it, show the rest of what I have to, to any of y'all? I don't think so. But I'm going to anyways because I'm a nice guy. Because... I don't think y'all realize the amount of fucking headache and stress he brings on each and every one of y'all motherfuckers. I don't think y'all realize this. But like I said, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to show y'all the rest. There's more to come. I'm not finished. It's not over, Dennis. See, can I ask you a question? What? And I'm going to be positive about this. Of everything that's going on. Did I even tell the truth to Chevy? And this is going to be the truth. 
Did I come in and ask you about whose name was in your mouth or if you were saying someone's name? When? About two days ago. About two days ago. It sounds familiar, Tanya. Take right now. I'm. I can't remember shit. I've been having about having, having, about having groceries. Everything because my home burnt down. Well, I'm sorry about that, but having this name in your mouth. Who's a bitch? Daughter, what were you saying? Not about having spoke, uh, accusing, not accusing, but misunder, mis saying that Ninja was Bryce oh, and everything. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't, I ni wasn't I nice to you on that? I told you you've done nothing to me, Tanya. But when you came to me, didn't Red not start screaming and cussing and carrying on at me? I'm like it's I'm going to, I can say whatever happened happened. But I was I was sitting on the couch playing with my cat. But I can say yeah. But used to, and I will say this: used to said things that was not nice to each other. So uh, actually, uh, Tanya, no, no, no. wait, wait, actually, Tanya, I was nice. I dropped yeah. you right down. And I'll get now with you. This shit. Yo, keep one thing in mind with these folks. Do as I say, not as like, I do. I went out and I was like, hey guys, yeah, I'm ready to go. The hypocrisy is right real with these like dumbass this. motherfuckers. Basically, yo, um, what we'll she just right said is people. that the lady that was saying that shit to Savage, let's just put it this way. She was saying that. Oh, I was nice, you know, to Red. I was nice. I was the only one that was nice, basically. Right? That's pretty much what I got. What the fuck did you say to start the argument in the first goddamn place? I mean, for real. And it comes right back to square one. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't you think you're being a fucking hypocritical, you dumbass bitch? You're just like Dennis. Yes, I know the entire situation. I know everything. All of it. I'll see you in the next video.